logistics on how to show you this move, so you have to bear with me. Um, of course, if it doesn't work out at all, you won't even be seeing this. Um, for those of you who have a stability ball, you might use sitting at your desk sometimes. Um, I don't do that, but many people do. First of all, mine is not inflated enough. I didn't know that until I sat, pushed play and sat down on it. <laughs> um, my knees should be a little higher, so it's not inflated as much as I would like it to be. But some of you might be sitting on your stability ball at work, or might have it in the corner, or you might have one at home. You might not have one. But you can also use it to do different um, strength training exercises. I think I have some videos where I've shown you push-ups and bicep curls and things. But I don't know if I've shown you the one that can work your abs. It does. Work. There are many ways you can work your abs, but this one requires getting on your knees. Um, and I did it at the gym a couple times, and I could really feel a strain in my, an appropriate soreness in my abs the next day, so I knew it was working. Um, you can do it on a smaller ball, it's harder. The, the technique is that you try not to let your elbows bend, and I haven't gotten there yet. Um, but with the smaller ball, I mean smaller in diameter, um, it's much harder to keep your elbows straight. So this ball supports, the larger ball supports your arms. So let me see if I can show you what I mean. Um, and with this move, slow, slow is how it works. Let me see if I can get this wall. Slow is how it works, um, and you want to, when you roll out, that's where you, you feel your abs catch, and you hold that for a few seconds, and then roll back in. So it's the actual roll out and hold, that's using your ab muscles. But you also use them to pull back. And it engages your arms a little bit as well, so you might get some tricep work in. So, it would go something like this. You would have a mat to protect your knees. And <clears throat> some people do it with fists on the ball. Um, just, you'll have to, I think I do flat hands a lot of the times because I'm thinking about keeping my arms straight. So you roll out, and that's where it catches your abs right there. Pull it back in, and if you do it right, you're really engaging your abs. So you can go out, hold two, three, four, pull in. Try to keep your back straight because you're working your core as well, so that you don't. I don't want to do it wrong and hurt myself. Um, but you roll out, and you don't want to collapse your abs, and then you know pull back with your shoulders or your back. You want to keep your core nice and firm. You can even put your hands there, and you can feel the tightness underneath your skin. Um, that will be closer for some than others. Um, push out, pull, pull in. Doing just, yeah. So push out and pull, pull back in. So I'm doing three sets of eight right now at the gym. And I've tried it on a smaller ball. Like I said, it's a little bit harder. So that is just something else you can do um, with the stability ball and another way you can take an activity break um, at work. So I hope you'll give that a try.